Daniel Jones is arriving for work, and man, he looks like he is ready to. I guess play football. I mean, you can't tell. I mean, he's like Eli 2.0. This guy, it's unbelievable. <laughs> no. There's some difference. With the sixth pick, the New York Giants select Daniel Jones. As a Giants fan, this is a disgrace. The Giants have lost their way. Eli's the starter. Daniel's going to be ready when it's his time. What a wild two weeks. And here comes his first home start, Kim Jones. Indeed, Rich Eisen. You know, I like talking to teammates and coaches about Daniel Jones. Michael Thomas, the veteran safety and team captain, told me the other day that Jones won them over the defense back in May because they saw him on the practice field and every ball was pinpoint. His accuracy was so impressive. And offensive coordinator Mike Shula was asked what was most impressive about last week. Shula said first and foremost, the win. But he also said that Daniel's poised throughout the game, very even keel very steady. He also said this, guys, as I know you're going to now have a convo about Daniel. He said that Daniel Jones during the game blocked everything else out, almost as if he was in the meeting room. I found that remarkable for a rookie, Rich. So, I mean, it really was absolutely mind-blowing. Down 18, he comes up with the biggest comeback for the New York Giants since 1970, the Super mm. Bowl era. Yeah. He comes up with the first 300-yard passing, two rushing touchdown, two passing touchdown game in the history of the franchise. <laughs> After months of derision and screaming yeah. and craziness and all sorts of stuff on, on, the, uh, on the radio there in New York City, in New Jersey, in the metropolitan area, will Daniel Jones save the Giants season is our question for you. Michael Irvin. And let me expound on it now. It, uh, we, we're not talking save it as in, boy, we still got a shot at the Super Bowl. We're not even talking save it as in, boy, we still got a shot at the playoffs. But save it in the sense of, boy, this has some meaning to it again. Because we'll watch now this young kid grow. This young kid grow. And, and the excitement that comes look around all the right things. Look at, look at Saquon running up. You, mean, you don't think winning matters to these guys? And they got hope again. This kid threw for two touchdowns. This kid ran for two touchdowns. Eli has a total of seven touchdowns. He's never run for two in a season, let alone two in one game. So those guys are saying, oh, my God, we have something here. It, we have something. We may not go to the Super Bowl, but we have something to start building on. We'll start this year and carry it over to next year, and there's no telling where we can go. He saved their season. Oh, and I've talked already all week long about how well this kid played. I thought he played a cleaner game last week than Tom Brady played last week. But talk about save their season. And let's not forget their defense gave up 31 points last week. Let's not forget their defense gave up 500 yards. Let's not forget the guy we just saw on the screen, Saquon Barkley, is out for a number of weeks. And, Rich, let's not forget that it took a missed field goal for us to be talking and excited about them saving the season. There are a lot of issues here. Daniel Jones is not going to be the issue moving forward. As Mike's saying, that's where he saves the season. But in terms of wins and losses, I don't believe Daniel Jones saves the Giants. Season. What a buzzkill, man. Yeah, that great oh, thing I just man. did. <laughs> I'm that great thing I just did. I'll bring it, I'll bring it back. What is a okay. – yeah, Booch, break, break the tie, you know Booch. What? Talk about, <laughs> yes, talk no, about bring about hope to that state. You think MetLife's going to be cranked up today to watch this team Absolutely, play? Coach. It's gonna, no it, That's what know, I'm talking about. They could be booing by halftime, too. I know yeah. it, but you know what? And he played the great game. We know that. But, you know, you're right, Kurt. <laughs> Save the season. I, what does that mean? Because this roster is not as complete as the Dallas Cowboys in the same division and the Eagles. Those two teams have better personnel from top to bottom. Yes, this kid had a great game, and he looks like he is going to have a bright future. That's great. Here's what impressed me about this guy in this game. Handling pressure. What do I mean by that? There's two types of pressure. Number one is physical pressure from the defense. Yep. He was pressured 21 times in this game. They were coming after him and hitting him, and he had to yep. escape, and he had to move all day long, and he was really efficient under duress, okay? That's the number one pressure. The other pressure, Rich, mm -hmm. is handling starting for Eli. He can't mess this up because he will be criticized. They don't want to give the Giants reason to say, okay, too soon, let's go back to Eli. So there was a lot of pressure for him to 
to, to perform well enough to keep this job the rest of the year. And you know what? He handled the pressure beautifully. Physical pressure and the emotional pressure. He handled pressure. the pressure, pressure. That means, boy, that gives you hope. He oh. handled the pressure, pressure, coach. That's what you call it, the pressure, the pressure. Pressure, pressure. Double the pressure. That's incredible. Double the hope. Now, uh, just real quick, though, hmm. uh, I, I do want to just say this, and I know I might sound like I'm pontificating, but the 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 Eli um, derision, just the just forgetting the 210 career starts in a row, the two championships, the Walter Payton Man of the Year patch on his chest. It's just, a, I mean, the the dirt shoveling that you're seeing yeah. mm -hmm. by Giants fans all of a sudden, all well, not all of them, and by New There's York media, not all of it. It's there, there seems to be a lot of fun being had, uh, and I, I, let's not forget the totality of everything. Amen. Right? Amen. Okay? Yeah. That said, you're such a buzzkill, Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> Just answer the question. <laughs>